Hello, everyone. I I know I don't do these videos. This is a no edit video. I am fucking done. I am fucking done. I've given him chances to prove me wrong. I've given him opportunities to prove me wrong that he is not a dick, not an asshole. But I'm sorry, Klein. You you you've pushed a line. You you pushed my button. I'm standing right here in front of Maddie Rosser. She is the key to Yes I Can success. She is our role model through Yes I Can. Uh, I kept her role model in check. I kept all my stuff in check to not break what she built for me and helped me to become. But it has come to the point where I had been like, okay, I've been demoted from commander. I don't give a flying freaking fuck. It was a stupid reason. Okay, activity of my battalion. I can't control that. Stuff I cannot control does not contribute to my rank. Okay, people aren't showing up for my battalion. I can't control that. I don't control their IRL schedules. Literally, I have one person who couldn't even make it to events because only time they had a day off was a Tuesday. And what are you going to want to do on that one day off? You're going to want to have fun on your own. I talked to Storm about the clone troopers of VR chat to my Yes I Can class. You guys are assholes. I, I'm bluntly saying that. You guys are assholes. You guys don't know what you're doing. You've literally destroyed everything that the original creator of that server put into motion. That server is dead. It's dying. I, I, I'm just being blunt. It, it's it's going to die. It, it, there's nothing you can do about it. You've already pissed people off. You're spreading rumors. Klein, stop spreading rumors that people are pedophiles. That's not true. You have no evidence. You can say someone's a pedophile. But you crossed the line the moment you did it to a friend of mine. I am done. This is fucking it. This is your nail. The moment I got kicked from battalion commander just based off of that stupid reason, I even emailed my teacher saying, hey, would this be a good reason to demote someone or remove them off of a team? He said, no, you don't control when your team comes in or not. It's usually the person scheduling's fault when it comes down to people showing up. Schedules usually have to revolve around everybody else. Sometimes, 90% of the time, a schedule won't work for someone. Then you got to find another way. My method was have them show up to at least one training a week or one event a week. Done deal. Easy. Some would, they would all show up to one training or an event. Wasn't that hard. It was easy. Klein is the main reason the GAR, my server, now exists. He is also the reason why the Spirit of the Republic exists. Klein proceeded to bully and push someone who was a shadow, an ex-shadow now, in the Clone Troopers of VR chat to the point where they left. Kitty Cat was my friend. Uh, I understood them. I knew them. I still talked to them. And Klein proceeded to later on, through my terms of commander, say... We're going to apologize to everyone we did ever wronged or any server that we have bad blood with. And when I asked, are you going to apologize to the spirit of the Republic? Are you going to apologize to their martial commander that was bullied in the server? He proceeded to say, it's not my fault they played the victim. Um, you don't get how that works. There's no victim without someone pushing it, them to be the victim. This is how things work. You cannot have a victim without someone first pushing to them, harassing them, annoying them, to the point where they almost break. 
I, I was sitting there the entire time this bullying was happening. I kept asking people, stop, please stop, please stop. They're going to leave. No one listened. I didn't even want to go to staff because I don't trust staff in that server. Sorry, clone troopers of your chat. Your staff is shit. Your staff doesn't know what they're doing. They act like they know what they're doing, but they honestly do not. Client says, oh, I know what I'm doing. We're going to have new blood in staff. It took you a total of the server being deleted to add new people to the staff. That tells me you had no intention to add new people. This means the entire time you to sat there in front of commander saying, we're going to add new people to staff, you lied to our face brunt and clear. You also promised that commanders would have a say in anything that happens in the future. Meaning that commanders would have a say at who would be good for regimental. You gave someone regimental power who was not ready, who didn't understand anything, who understood nothing, and was forcing trainings on the people. You can't force a training on someone. You can say, hey, we're going to do a training. You can't be like, we're doing a training. If you don't show up, you're going to get kicked from your, your battalion just because you didn't show up once. I went to go. Okay, here's a true story. I went to go to my older sisters for Thanksgiving. I proceeded to, hmm, I went to my sisters. I messaged saying, hey, I won't show up to that train because I'm at my sister's. I had no control. And then the day of Thanksgiving, 187th is gone. I wake up in the morning. I open my laptop. I connect to my phone's hotspot. I check Discord. It's gone. It's just gone. And I'm just like, what the fuck? The, no one even messages anyone in that server anymore. The only time you get a DM or a message is if you're trying to join a battalion or if that or if there's a cadet tryout, which I can understand that. But the events are so stupidly random now to the point where they they don't even follow your schedule anymore. Tuesdays and Thursdays are events. You're having people who are hosting events on Wednesdays. Fridays, all over the place. And these events aren't staying to your schedule. For me, I I have like Monday, random event day. You can host whatever you want on that day in my server. Or if you're an event host, if you're a commander, I don't care what event you host. It's up to you. Wednesday, combat event day. We do do combat. We did one a couple days ago. We did it with 501st. We did it with 91st. It was fun. We did the Battle of Geonosis. That was actually pretty fun. I got to fight it with uh, the person who originally trained me, which was Hopping. Now, I can understand if there's communication errors when it comes down to meetings. Now, you need to keep in mind, not everybody you let in as a commander is going to understand you. If you are the one presenting the information, because you're eventually going to get people with a disability, this disability can hinder them figuring out what they're supposed to be doing as a commander. As for me, I didn't get trained up as a commander. I went from um, being a cadet to CT to 187th to private first class, the corporal to staff sergeant, second lieutenant, and then commander. I was told told by over five people I'd help train you to be a commander. None of them helped. The only person who actually guided me along my way was that commander of the 91st. And then they left because their entire battalion was getting bullied. That is not something cool to have in a server. An entire battalion should not be bullied just based off of being furries.
that 91st commander literally got up, left. They're now on my server. They're staff in my server. Um, because I like them. They're like family to me. I treat my server like family. I treat them all like family. And I want to continue to grow my server like a family. Because if you don't treat each other like family, you're destined to fail. And since it's all about competitiveness and locking things away from people that are originally supposed to be a part of a battalion. For example, Spec Ops Helmet was a part of the comms troopers uniform. Comms troopers were an original thing in Star Wars. This is something a lot of people get wrong. Comms troopers were a thing. They used the Spec Ops helmet to differentiate themselves plus it had a lot more gear in it it made it a lot easier to make a communications link it made it easier to link up with different battalions across the planet it made it a lot easier same being for scout troopers scouts had their own particular armor now it, it wasn't a nice looking armor i'm not gonna say that scout troopers had meh Sort of looks like the Imperial Scout armor, but shorter, new, different classes. But you also have to keep in mind the who were the top Sky Corps. Top Sky Corps were one eighty seventh and Seventh Sky Corps. Seventh Sky Corps followed on Commander Cody. Commander Cody also ran to twelfth mainly because they were a marshal. A lot of people don't know that. They were a martial commander during the war. But in m the difference between my server and their server, they forced people to take up the, the lore tags of whatever commander is in charge of the battalion if they become a commander. I can understand the appeal of that, but there's no fucking point. If someone wants to be Fox, let them be Fox. Give them my armor set. Let them be fucking Fox. They can act like Fox all they want. Even if they don't have the rank. Doesn't matter to me. That's how I set up my server. Differently from theirs. Anyone could be the lore character. But. They'd still fall under. The. Pretense of who the actual commander is. Because if you. Follow all the way through. Republic pilots were their own battalion. This is not the case in Clone Troopers of Yerichek. But I'm also going to mention Klein's an ass. I'm saying that now. He's a blunt asshole. I had many people in my battalion be like, we can help you set up to be more friendly to people on the autism spectrum and with a disability. I proceeded to ask Klein the following day, hey, you'd plan on talking to one of my troopers that recommended you talking about uh, setting up to be more autism and friendly to people on a disability. He proceeded to shrug it off and say, we're never planning to fucking do that. Now, I can understand stupidity. Now, when it comes to someone with a disability, they're not going to hear you properly. They're not going to understand half of the shit that you're talking about. A joke to them is going to come off differently to you. A, a joke from you that other people understand is not going to come off the same. Now, uh, I, I, I was blacklisted from a 187th in Gary's mind. Main reason for that was I made an entire document documenting a officer who I'm not going to name because I respect the guy. And 90% of that 187th is pretty much dead at that point because all of the good members of that 187th left the moment I disappeared. Now, I was hell of good with making events. If it was RP related, if it was... You you just needed something done. 
I was there. I was there. Even if it was not meant to be an RP event, I would find a way to add a little bit of RP to it. But that's what made it fun. It felt like you were living it. You were feeling the event. You were there. Now, the difference between my server and their server, I give out combat awards sometimes. Depends on how well the person does. But if I were to be brutally honest, if Klein were to go to a Gary's Bond server, act the same way as an administrator, they'd be blacklisted and removed. And I've even sent this to the old owner, all of my conversations to the old owner of my Gary's monster for that. I still love to play on every once in a while. I'm, I'm a CT on there. I retired from Republic Pilots. I had fun as a pilot. I was a good pilot. I was a bomber pilot. I enjoyed being Blue Squadron. Now, besides that, he proceeded to say, if any of my staff came up to me like this, and any of my staff acted this way, they'd be gone. That, or I would just purge the entire server, start it over, see what happens if they don't make themselves better or they come back as staff and it doesn't change i'm going to remove them from staff permanently and i'm going to blacklist them from staff now i can understand his hatred of how people were being acted i am sick and tired of having good friends accused of things they've never done on this game the this friend who Klein is now accusing of being a pedophile. They're in a relationship. They're in a happy relationship. They're enjoying themselves. They're having fun. They're they're in love. They plan to get married in VR chat because they can't really see each other due to COVID reasons. I understand that. Now... When it comes to words you say online, yes, I can understand you think these words have no merit whatsoever. My words have no merit whatsoever because I have no evidence. So I'm going to leave something at the end of this that my friend sent me. It's a screenshot that someone sent them through DMs. And what brought them aware of this, and what brought this about. I'm just saying, if Clone Troopers VR chat wants to change, purge all of your high command. Do it. The only per people I leave in control right now is Shield. Shielded Hayes. Not, not because he's my commander in that, because he's chill, he's calm, he's mellow, and he, he doesn't tried to force people onto things when it comes to sticker codes he tries to follow them he he even let me use something that i create that i got off of my carriers mod doom unit buddies that i flew for which is their emu thing their their special emu tag that I can honestly change into the avatar and show you all. If if it loads, it's thinking. Their little EMU tag. This originally came from my Gary Spawn server. I loved the Doom student commander who let me fly for them. It was a blast to fly for them while I had the chance. I just felt like I wanted to take a bigger leap. I wanted to try something bigger than Gary's Mon, which was VR chat. And I decided to start my own server after Climb being a dick. Mo most of all these servers, which I realized when there was a giant hacking wave, Clone Troopers of VR chat did not attend the meeting to this hacker wave and did not notify any of its people 
that there was a large amount of people going around hacking into Steam accounts, hacking into anybody in VR chat clone groups, and taking over people's accounts, changing them, selling them. I, I had to sit there with my friend till we got their account back. We lit I literally an entire server banded together help one person get their account back. Clone troopers of year chat, they're like, eh, let's keep the events going, even though we're at risk of having our people exposed to this. We're not even going to tell them to be cautious when they're in public worlds. We're not even going to tell them that this stuff is happening. This is something you need to tell your people. Even if it's a small server, even if you don't have a marshal, the way I had my server set up is staff does not overrule marshals. They, they can recommend things, they can try to, but if any of them try to overthrow the marshals, I will boot them from staff. Because the purpose of staff is not to control the server. The purpose of staff is to make sure the community is safe, keep people updated if something bad is going on. For example, hackers going around, taking people's accounts. That should be top priority. You should lock down your server. I locked down my server when it was happening. I went into a group meeting with all of the clone trooper groups. I was there. The only ones that weren't there were two groups. Clone troopers of VR chat did not go. And then they later admitted, we knew all about this. If you knew, you should have warned everybody on your server put out an announcement saying hey be cautious or put the server on lockdown because then that makes people think hmm they probably pissed these people off to the point of doing this clone troopers of your chat says they want to make pardons they want to apologize to people but Klein doesn't allow that. There's no apology ever coming. There's no apology ever going to come to me. There's no apology ever going to go to Kat, who was literally bullied in the server to the point where they started their own server. They made their own things. And you don't accuse people of ripping, and also you don't just go into the DMs coming from the one who started their own server and named themselves Marshall. It's my server. You don't have a say in what I make and what I do. This is my video. You don't have a say where I put it or where it stays. Because it's my video. The way media works, media stands for anything on a platform. Ranging from YouTube, Twitter, Twitch... Instagram, Facebook, I'm going to plaster this everywhere. There will be nowhere that CTOVRC can hide. Because until this resolve comes, until 90% of that staff steps down and walks away and lets new, an entire new staff team go in, there will be no change for that server. Because one, Klein disobeys the rules even though their staff is supposed to uphold the rules. How are you supposed to set an example as staff? And I don't care if it's, oh, this person made my armor. That is not an excuse. I even only have one thing on my comma. And that's literally just my fox. That's it. <coughs> now, I I was okay with being kicked out from being a commander by them. I didn't give a flying fuck. I may have been pissed because of the reasons. Oh, you don't pay attention to commander means. Well, half of the stuff I didn't understand because the way you presented the information was dumb and retarded. Hardly anyone would understand that. 
because the they got over they removed me based off of how I saw how the arf bark and arc thing was seen because I thought it was arc arf bark and airborne easy misconception you could have been like no it's this da, 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 da. and I could have been like okay and we could have had a civil discussion and just passed it off as I I didn't understand that particular meeting because I had a recordings from each meeting I rewatched each one the same information just goes in because of the way that information was provided to me you're shit at giving that information literally when people offered to help you dismissed it said fuck you go away when pe literally as a yes I can representative I have literally labeled clone troopers of VR chat as not autism friendly I have made my server quest and PC friendly along with autism friendly to the point where if someone has autism I know how I the people in my server know how to interact with them we know how to how to make sure they understand the information given they know how to understand what we need them to do when we need them to do it it's an easy thing to do but a lot of people think oh we won't do it because it seems like too much work it's not that hard just have a representative who can represent those people understand what they're going through oh some of our staff has autism i don't give a fuck there are different age of the spectrum there's different tiers it's called the rainbow of the spectrum for a reason. You have high, medium, low. It doesn't matter if you think you know how to deal with these people because each one that comes in is going to need different special needs and different special things you got to explain in a different special way. Now, when it comes to furries, I've also still noticed in the server, certain furries still get bullied. Even though there's no bad blood, they just get bullied. Oh, we have staff that are furries. Okay, that's staff. That is not anybody else. Are you really going to walk up to a staff and bully a staff? I don't think so. It's pretty much pulling a pin on the grenade and letting someone throw it at you, at your feet, while well, they run away and you stand there looking down at it. I am sick of this. This is why this video is being made. Clone Troopers of VR Chat needs to change. They need to start looking things in her perspective, in my perspective, and in Yes I Can's perspective. Because if you look up to her, and you see a great person, I see a great person, I see a wonderful person. She she was an idol to Yes I Can, even when she wasn't even there. She was still donating money for the summer meltdown. She was still at all of the food drives she was still there no matter what fundraiser we were doing she would buy off of you if you couldn't make one sale she would buy off of you that is pure kindness because if you you are struggling she was there she'd always have a smile she'd always be happy i originally was gonna give her a piece of art the piece of art is literally on my Clone pilot helmet. As you can see, I have a little cat on the side of my head. This was to represent Maddie's angel. It originally did not have wings because she was alive at the time. 
And before it even became irrelevant, well, some people will say it's irrelevant. Well, even before she passed away, I was originally going to give it to her. How do you think I felt walking in my classroom, not knowing what was happening, feeling this odd sensation that something was off? Later on, having your teachers walk out to tell you the person you looked up to as a sister is dead. And died in a car crash with her brother. People will be like, oh, everybody has lost. You don't understand how everyone else feels about a loss. We all grieve in a different way. We all feel differently. We're not all the same. Oh, you've been through a loss. We don't want sympathy. We just want you to understand that we're fucking sick and tired of the bullshit. I can understand you have beef with people. Beef with people does not mean you go around spreading a rumor saying they're pedophile, they're this, they're doing that. That's rude. That's mean. That's not true. You have nothing to back the claim. You could say the same about me. A lot of people who are my friends will say the exact opposite. Because they know me well. Even my friends higher up, even my teachers. If I were to be bullied, you'd be dead. Well, not, not, not literally, figuratively. You would not be holding your ground against them. Literally, I had a teacher in high school kick me out of the classroom just for wearing a My Little Pony blanket as a kid. So the next day, I was getting an apology from that teacher. We came to an agreement. I'm like, sure, I won't wear, wear it when I go into your classroom. I'll put it in my backpack. I put it in my backpack from there on out. I'd still do it from time to time. That or I'd find a different blanket. I used my football blanket from time to time. <laughs> but I was literally known as the happy-go-lucky person. I literally came out with two tassels. One for leadership, which was specifically designed for anti-bullying. And two for Yes I Can, which was for business well, not really for business. It helped me learn a little bit more about business, how things were run, how to run your own thing. And we hosted this concert called the Summer Meltdown, which is the map that I'm in right now. The Summer Meltdown map. This is the Maddie Shrine. This is in honor of Maddie Roster. These two troopers here are in her favorite color. People wonder why I went to 187. Because of her. The purple was her icon. It gave me a sense of, I still have her with me. Every time I fought, I felt like she was watching over me because of the purple on my armor. Now, I don't, I don't even know how to feel about clone troopers of your chat because it's, it's, it's an okay server, but. You need it needs to stop producing toxic people. Yes, you can have little rivalries here and there, but when it comes down to actual events, you use clone troopers of your chat. They used to do RP, that's gone. You used to have combat maps. That though a lot of those went away because Leka went up and left because of what you were doing. What does that tell you? That tells you something here is wrong. And I think that one thing. Is Klein and everyone he's ever put. In their position. 
the only way to physically change this is if they all got up, retired, and gave it to other people. Yes, I can understand people will find this as blasphemy. You're lying. At the end of this, I'm going to be adding a a little uh, screenshot from my friend who sent me this uh, image from someone who sent them a DM image. This should not be happening ever in any clone server in anywhere, any place. I treat my server as family. You attack my family. I come for you. And if you attack me, yes, I can comes for you. Now, you may think, yes, I can can't do shit. Uh, you'd be surprised what Mr. L and Mrs. L have done. They made a teacher apologize. That is not easy. And that was done in a day. They have connections absolutely everywhere. I've had guest speakers from Disney to Sony to voice actors to you name it. They've had them visit. I've met with bands like Seedless, Nako. What was the other ones? There, there's just so many of these bands. Hold on, I can just, I can just bring you all along, so you can see this is what the world looks like. This is an entire picture from one of the meltdowns. This is all the bands from one of the meltdowns that I've been with this literally tells you this organization is not something you should take lightly because we've been doing this for a while and this this is just what I did in case of emergency this is our emergency map in case if meltdown gets cancelled again this is our fallback I made this map specifically for that there might not be much on here. Maybe one active mirror, two media players, two stages. But as you can see, I made it appeal to anyone. Yes, yeah, that's supposed to be never have I ever, but I, I'm too lazy to finish that. But. You need to keep in mind, when it comes to a community, if you are a high-ranking official and you're spreading rumors, these rumors hurt your whole community, not just you. This hits everyone. Because all I've ever heard, the moment I started my own community, the moment I went around other clone communities, they all say the same thing. Clone Troopers of VR chat is toxic. It brings nothing but bad news. And I think this is one of the reasons why. Staff should not be doing that. People in the server should not be doing that. As commanders, I literally had to ban and ban PB bunnies out of my server. I had to ban a bunch purge a bunch of people who came from that server into my server. Because they caused issues. I wasn't allowed to talk. Hopping comes in early in the morning after waking up. I'm getting attacked, not being able to speak or talk. That reflects on you. You have raised the worst out of a community. And I am done defending it. I do not care if Disney gets a hold of this. I am putting you on a cross. 
along with Yes I Can and everything you think you have, I will find a way to turn it away. Because this should not be happening. People shouldn't be getting hurt. People shouldn't be taking long breaks from VR chat just because you wanted to hurt them. That is not how a community works. A community works together as a family. That is how it should always be. They should look out for each other, report what's been seen. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people have beef with CTO VRC because I have ran into ex devs who have said the same thing. I made maps for them. They took all credit. I met a person who made them a Felucia map with working AT ATRTs, working speeder bikes, working weaponry. It was the best. They even took me there. It was broken, of course, now, but it was really, really cool. And they're like, yeah, but they took all credit for it, and I took all my stuff and left. If your dev teams don't want you ever to use their stuff, you have an issue. If they leave and they take everything with you, with them, that means you had a big problem that led to them leaving. And they want nothing to do with you. That's it.